Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use preset to make dramatic black and white. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramelli. I am a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France, and the amazing city of Los Angeles, California. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to get the free presets I'm going to give you. All you have to do is go to photosearch.com, click on sign up, put in your email address, you will get an email, you create a password, and boom, you have access to hundreds of free raw files, hundreds of free presets, brushes. The way it works is you just click on free lesson and you just choose whatever episode and you click on download source files. But first of all, you have to log in with your login and password. Voila. You can also click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have been doing so much black and white over the last two years and I've used different techniques. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can use presets in Lightroom to create super dramatic black and white, which people seem to love all over the world. Here it is. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So in this episode, I want to talk to you about how to use presets to make dramatic black and white. Uh, this photo is okay. It's a photo of an old car in Paris. I was, you know, walking with my family on a Sunday, but, you know, I have this rule is that when the colors are not amazing, go black and white. So, but the problem with black and white is often, if you don't go for drama, it kind of looks boring. Here is what I'm saying. Uh, let's take out a saturation, or you can even, you know, you can either go black and white by taking out saturation, or you can go here, click on black and white, and that's gonna give you a different, a more dramatic black and white. So let's use this option, black and white. Okay, and then let's do the, my usual workflow, which is to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights, bring down my blacks, and bring and bring up my whites. Then we get, you know, a decent black and white, but it's kind of boring. It is it is kind of boring. There's nothing really special in it. What's going to make your black and white good is that if you do local adjustments, meaning that if you direct the viewer of the photograph where you want it to go, usually it's in the center of the photo. So how do you direct the viewer of the photo inside your photo, well, you do this by local adjustment. So for example, on this photo, what, I, what I'd like to do is I'm gonna take a graded filter and I'm gonna make a graded filter here on the side and I'm just gonna lower the exposure. Okay, maybe not that much, but something like this, a nice gradient on the side, something like this. And with the same value, I'm gonna do this on the right side, I'm gonna do this at the bottom. Now this is gonna create an interesting effect. You see how it's, the light is gonna be it's going to be darker here and darker there. I kind of like that. All of a sudden, before and after, it just makes a lot of drama. But that's not all. This We need to do something more. You see, uh, we need to do two things. We need to direct the viewer eyes where we want him to go. And we need to break the grays or break the gradient. What I mean by that is, which is a little bit what I did here. If I take out this gradient field, you see how this wall is absolutely evenly led, okay? And by adding a gradient, you see now it's like there's a nice gradient to it. I wanna go further than that. So for this, I'm gonna take a radial tool and I'm gonna make a nice radial filter here and I'm gonna invert the mask, feather it 100%, meaning anything that I'm gonna do here is gonna be only in this radial filter and I'm just gonna boost the exposure a little bit and boost the clarity. Now, it doesn't work so well here because I'm doing it on a really wide wall, but if I go here, you see, it's gonna make, I can even boost the exposure a bit, a bit more. It's gonna make and the clarity even more. It's gonna make an interesting texture. You see now this wall, instead of being completely evenly led here, it's got, it's, it's, it's differently led, so it makes it more interesting. Remember photography is writing with the light. And all the big guys of black and white in the 40s and 50s, 60s used to do this with what we call dodge and burn. And I made a whole course on that that you can find on my website, which is called Black and White of Today and Yesterday, explaining this into details. But in a nutshell, they would make some part of the photo brighter and they would make some part of the photo darker for two reasons. One, to guide the eyes of the of the ear and two, to make it more interesting, to break the light and make the light nicer. So once you've got a circle you like, you can right click and duplicate it and put it here, for example. Right click, duplicate it, and this one I'm going to use. I always put one in the center that I make very bright. You can just because I want the viewer uh, to go somewhere. You have to look maybe on the car here. Why not on the car? Yeah, 
That's interesting. Now, let me show you before the radial filter and after. You see? And you can add some, but not too much. You got to do it in a way so that people don't notice it. And you, you know how you know if you did your job well? Is that you show the photo of somebody, to somebody without showing him the before and after. And if he says, oh, I can see that there is some white round here, then you failed. You did it too much. But that's a good base. Okay, so on this photo, as usual, because I want to use it as preset, I'm also going to unabout the profiles correction. And I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do um, an auto, upright auto, so it's just very straight. And I'm going to also do some post-crop vignetting on the top of what I did, because post-crop really works well. And on this one, I'm going to add a bit of contrast. Okay, but I think it, it made an interesting photo from, let me show you the before, backslash key, that's the before. That's the after. I think it's more interesting this way than the other way. So that's going to give us a base. And we're going to use this base to make different presets. So for this, I'm going to jump over to my preset. And you see here, uh, I'm going to click on the plus here. And I'm going to, I'm already, I created a folder called BW for black and white drama. And I'm going to call this one BW drama 2. Okay, drama 2. Okay, and make sure everything is selected. And you see, only graduated filters and regular filters are uh, able to become presets. That's why I don't use brushes. I only use these local adjustments. I'm going to create this. And then I'm going to take this photo of this gentleman that I shot in the street way back. And I'm going to apply the same preset we just did. And boom, look at this. It's already kind of cool. But then remember, preset is only a starting point. First, I don't like how this photo is framed, so I'm going to... I'm going to reframe it so that the rule of thirties apply. And maybe he is more like this. Okay, I think that's more interesting of a framing. Then I'm going to take the graded filter. And I'm going to move this one maybe on his face and make it less strong. Okay, and there is one here. It doesn't work well on the shirt or it's too strong. You can just lower. Just make it a little bit, not much. Okay, this one is kind of cool. I'm going to move it around. So you have to move them around. I'm going to duplicate this one and move this one here. You see, it's only going to give me a, you know, a base, a base to work with. I'm going to duplicate this, this and put it here so that the viewer, remember, we want the viewer to look inside of the photo. And then uh, here is one that's not being used because I cropped the photo. So maybe here and maybe less powerful. Okay, then I'm going to take my graded filter which is outside of the photo because I recropped it and just make it here. And voila. I think that's a more interesting photo than this. Before, after. And um, so this one I, I, I'm going to call, for example, every time you do a change to preset, you can just make a new one. BW Drama 3. Okay, so I created one. And then, okay, this one, I'm going to apply BW Drama 2. This is a castle. Okay, ooh, I like what it does, but we need to change a few things. So again, presets is only a starting point. So I'm going to take this one, I'm going to this one, which is in the middle. I'm going to make it less strong, but I think it's interesting to have it there. Maybe even bigger and less strong and more clarity. So we have the eyes of your And that look, I love how this radio filter, oh, I lost it here, is a little radio filter. Hmm, sorry about that. My mouse is, and you see it's like having a little lamp here. I'm going to keep this one here. I'm going to keep this one here. And I'm going to add one more graded filter over the sky here and make it darker. This is going to be, it's going to be interesting on this one. Wow. This is really dramatic drama. Okay. You see how simple it is? And I'm going to jump back into my graded filter. And, um, maybe duplicate this one and put a couple here on the, in the sky you know maybe one here and one there and maybe not this one not so strong but again as i told you this is really your base but check it out the before and the after beautiful dramatic black and white done in a few seconds so let me call this one bw drama 4 because i did four of them Okay, and I'm going to give you all these presets for free. All you have to do to install the presets... Oops, I'm sorry. I went... I'm going to go back to Drama 3. All you have to do 
Oh, hold on, I actually made mistakes. I want to go back to where it was. Yeah, and let me show you again the before on this one. After. Amazing. Uh, really cool stuff. And that's the power of Lightroom, and that's the power of local adjustment, and that's the power of using preset presets. The force is with Lightroom. So now I'm gonna go to I'm gonna show you how to do it. First you have to go to my website. First you have to go to my website and you have to sign up here to get my free goodies. You sign up, you click here, you enter your email address. You're gonna receive an email and you create a password. Once you've got that, you click here on login and you put in your email address and your password and you log in. Once you're logged in, if you want to get the preset that we just created, you just go to free lesson and you're going to get access to 200 free lessons and free tutorials. You take, for example, that's one of the last one I did, which is presets to do have a, a cool desaturated and contrasty look. And you see here it says download source file. You download the source file, which will include all the presets. You go back to Lightroom and then you go to Lightroom preferences. You go to the second tab on preset, you said show Lightroom preset folder, and then you go to develop preset. Now that's very important, you don't make a mistake, that you really go to the develop preset folder, which is here. Once you do that, you just copy the BW Drama folder that you just downloaded, you restart Lightroom, and you're good to go, ready to create some crazy black and white uh, presets and black and white photos. But remember, it's only a starting point. It's up to you to move the circles, move the light how you want it until you create some nice, dramatic black and white. Voilà, mesdames et messieurs. Isn't it crazy? Wow.